the last, but by no means least, um, with our tomato sauce, we're gonna make the chili. So we've got our tomato base. I'm gonna put a few ladles in there. Get that on your stove. About a tin of black beans, kidney beans, any beans will work. They're washed and drained. Um, a good teaspoon of chilli powder. Now the other flavours are optional so you can put cumin in. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of paprika. This is the opportunity with all these things is to put um, turmeric in so we won't waste the opportunity. So about half a teaspoon of turmeric and just watch your side carefully. Some extra black pepper. And that's perfect the way it is. You just let that simmer, the flavours will come together, it can sit, it can, um, you know, it'll, it'll last in the fridge for, about, I'd probably say five days with the beans, four or five days. I also like to add sometimes either a spoon of cacao, if it's ethically sourced, a fair trade chocolate, so that's either two of those big squares or six of the little ones. And again, it's just all about layering flavours with this. So, I'm going to let that, those flavours come together. With the fajitas as well, we could have put some beans in with the fajitas. Um, it's just, it, it, there's so much variation with this. I'm going to add a little bit more of the tomato sauce. We'll let that come up to a boil. And then we've got options how we serve this chilli. So chilli is nice served with um, a big, big green salad. We can serve it on a sweet potato, on brown rice. I like the short grain brown rice, so we'll see. Uh, we'll put it on there. It needs a bit of time for the flavours to all come together. It's going to need a bit more chilli though. Um, and you can use the fresh chilli as well. Again, the lovely thing about being able to taste your food along the way, because there's nothing, um, you know, there's no illnesses or diseases in it. If anything, it's going to prevent them. So let's keep that simmering now. Or oh, slow, methodical stirs. It's still only been, you know, a couple of minutes. So if you had your tomato sauce in the fridge ready, you've literally opened a tin of beans. You've added your chilli powder, some different herbs if you wish, and then simmer that up and add to your rice. So we're going to serve this with some coriander. So we've got some fresh coriander. If the stems are a bit tough, just pop them into the chilli before it's uh, finely cooked. And then make your garnish by just finely chopping this. That's ready. So with my sweet potato, I've just literally done nothing to this. Just put it in the oven and baked it for about 25 minutes. Separate your potato. Give it a little Crunch. It's 
so. And we've got some rice that we've drained and heated through. So that's a short grain brown rice again, just with the whole grains. So we've got this delicious sweet potato, we've got this whole grain brown rice. And we're ready to serve. So fill your sweet potato and serve a portion with the brown rice. That's a that's a very large portion. <laughs> I'd probably eat half of that. But the coriander on the top is a save you wanted. You could save that with a nice green salad. Uh, lots of fresh tomatoes, but let's tuck in and see what it tastes like. Mm. So the sweet potato is such a delicious flavour. When I did these sweet potatoes, I've also roasted some for uh, to make into a dessert. Okay, so that's the chilli with the sweet potato. Mm. We've got the same sauce, done in three different ways, all completely different and all taste phenomenal. That's amazing. Um, I love sweet potatoes. And the same with the rice. Mm. Yeah. So we've shown how we've used familiar recipes, just using a meat replacement to take the mince out. We used beans with the chilli. We used walnuts and mushrooms with the bolognese. And we used a jackfruit with Cajun. There's lots of other things as well, but that could give you something to be starting off with. There we go.